The United Auto Worker strike against General Motors is now on its 23rd day, with talks reportedly turning today to focus on wages and pay increases for its members. One company supporting UAW workers during the strike is Airbnb, with its A Night on Us campaign. During the campaign, Airbnb will give UAW members an extra night of income for hosting stays of at least three nights or an experience between now and December 16th. For more, let's bring in Chris Lahane. He's Airbnb's Senior Vice President of Public of Global Policy and Communications. Chris, thanks so much for being here. Uh, we understand you have did this previously during the government shutdown. How does it work and why does it make sense for Airbnb from a financial point of view? Yeah, th thanks for having me. This is really uh, about our hosts. Right? Airbnb doesn't exist but for the millions of hosts that we have around the world. In fact, the company actually grew out of the economic recession in 2008 when people were needing to find ways to make extra income. You know, we know from public reports out there that about 40 percent of all Americans are $400 away from facing a really serious financial situation. And so when these types of situations come about, you know, we certainly look for ways to be able to work with our host community. You know, in the Midwest, um, where a lot of these UAW workers are based, we have 15,000 hosts in Michigan, 11,000 hosts in Ohio. And so the goal of this program really is to give a little bit of a helping hand to those folks who have actually helped make uh, this company. Uh, we don't exist but for them. And, you know, think about what's happening over the next couple of weeks, right? Some really big Big Ten football games. And we know we get big spikes in guests traveling to these games. Uh, East Lansing, Michigan, uh, in two weeks, has the Michigan State Penn State game. Next week is this upcoming weekend is the Notre Dame Michigan game in the big house, 107,000 people coming to mm -hmm. Ann Arbor. And if some of those people can go stay in some UAW houses uh, and get a little bit of extra money into their hands, I think that's a great thing. Uh, but again, this is really about us trying to do the right thing for our hosts um, because they really are the core of what our business is about. But uh, what about uh, in other situations when you see people lose their jobs or other union strikes, other companies perhaps g going into trouble. Why didn't you help, help them as well? Well, you know, we did start this program, as, as you guys alluded to at the beginning of this conversation, uh, earlier this year when there was the federal government shutdown. And it really dawned on us that there were a bunch of our hosts out there who are federal government employees who had lost their paychecks. And it was an opportunity for us to be able step, to step in, which we did at that time. And so that's where the program was really created. This was sort of the next opportunity that we saw that came before us. And it's certainly something that we're going to continue to look at and to be able to do in places where we can step in. You know, historically, we have used the platform in a variety of interesting ways. We have something called uh, the Open Homes uh, Program, where our hosts open up their homes uh, for those people who may have lost their housing because of a, a natural disaster or some other type of disruption. I'm sitting here in Northern California last year during the terrible fires. We opened up thousands and thousands of homes for people who just didn't have a place to live. Uh, and so we do want to really use this platform, right? And sure, as you're aware, this is a people-to-people -people platform. Airbnb doesn't exist but for our hosts. Those hosts don't exist but for the guests. Those guests don't exist but for communities welcoming them in. And so that whole social contract is really critical to how our, our business runs and how our community works. Uh, and so when there are moments like this, we really do want to step in. Again, I want to be clear, like, we're not the solution to these larger issues. Uh, we're trying to give a little bit of, a, uh, of, of, of help here in a particular cha particularly challenging situation. Uh, and obviously, we certainly hope that management and labor are actually able to come to a resolution and everyone can move forward. Chris, uh, are you increasingly nervous about the prospect of a, of a potential IPO when you see the troubles of some companies uh, of late? Well, again, for us, um, you know, it's really about focusing on our fundamentals. You know, I come out of politics originally, and people always used to talk about polls going up or down, and I always used to talk about, you know, really keep your eye on the ball, stay on the fundamentals. And I think that is certainly the case for us, right? I've talked about how our model works, how our business uh, platform works. Uh, ultimately, if we're delivering for our hosts, we're going to continue to grow, right? Our hosts make up to 97 percent of the money that they list their homes for. They've made $80 billion over the time of this platform. Um, our guests are coming to travel on the platform because they're getting more for less, unique, quality, local experiences. Uh, over half a billion of those folks have traveled on the platform and ultimately driving real economics into the communities they're going to. Over $100 billion in direct economic activity in our top 30 markets that our guests have generated from their spending. If we continue to focus on that, right, everything else will take care of itself. 
Uh, and so, you know, we do know that as the days and the years grow longer, the Airbnb community grows stronger. And that's really a function of how that whole social contract works on our platform. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure.